There have been significant test cases where people have taken their fight for full funding to the appeal court and won. Campaigners thought it would open the floodgates for other claimants, but so far it hasn't. Evelyn Lovelock also went into a care home when her health deteriorated in hospital. Her family refused to pay for her care, saying she qualified for full funding because of her medical condition. In the end, Wokingham Council backed down. Her son Robin set up a website to help other families in a similar situation. I uh, got advice just at the time when she was moving into the nursing home. And uh, I realised that a website was the obvious way of providing the important advice, legal advice, for everybody to better look at. And also it was quite clear that there were hundreds of thousands of people that needed that advice then. The advice on Robin's website is already helping many people claim back money they've already paid for nursing homes. Steve Squire's father, Charles, was in a nursing home in Dorset. He had Alzheimer's and Steve successfully won back £22,000 for his father's estate. Hilary Caldicott from Oxfordshire waged a two-year battle on behalf of her mother, Joan, and received £50,000 for her mother's estate. The Department of Health estimates that if it paid for all nursing and residential care, it would cost £1.5 billion.